So Chuck. Yes. So I, I haven't seen much discussion about this lately. What names you would give to aliens? Um, you're right. I have. Uh, we haven't. Because... No, I don't. I don't mean given names like on their birth certificate. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean yeah. if if they're from a planet, they would be called the what? Right. That makes so, sense. So we on Earth to aliens, we're what? Well, that's weird because. There's two things, because you know I like a lot of sci-fi. Yeah. Now, in the corny sci-fi, yeah. they call us Earthlings. Earthlings, yeah, they're but, good. But in the serious sci-fi, they call us Terrans. Terrans, oh, oh, all right. Yeah. All right. So if you're serious sci-fi. No, 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 no. In the really serious sci-fi, they call us dinner. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> or a snack. Uh, All right. Well, let's tease that out. So, so, so the planets are named for Roman gods. Okay. So Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Okay. Uh, oop, did I say Pluto? Mm, uh-oh. Mm, mm, Wait, uh-oh. Did Neil deGrasse Tyson just we'll, reinstate Pluto as a we'll, planet? We'll fix that in post. Uh. <laughs> in post production. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, when... So does Earth have a name? Does the moon have a name? Does the sun have a name? It, we do. And if you stay with the Roman tradition, Earth would be Terra. The okay. moon would be Luna. Okay. And the sun would be Sol, S-O-L. Okay. okay. And if you look at old maps, you know, uh, and old uh, uh, illustrations of the solar system, I mean, from centuries ago, people would put that in. Because if it's in Latin, and the book is written in Latin, Earth is Terra, and Earth, Luna, and Sol. So I would understand that the more Latin literate erudite aliens would call us Terrans. <laughs> Greeting Terran. Uh, where's, where's this guy think he is? <laughs> Which would be most people's response. Oh, why does he keep calling us that? He keep calling us Terry. Well, I, ha- I have degrees in Latin. How about yeah. you? <laughs> Who is Terry? I don't understand why he keeps calling us that. <laughs> okay, so now if you're from the moon, then right. you go back to the lunar, you'd be a lunatic. You're okay, the that's, moon. that's pretty cool. I want to live on the moon then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or, I mean, I mean, some are still up for grabs. Like, do you, would you want to call them lunarians? You could do that. That's no, a lunatics. Little, Gotta lunatic, be. It's way better. That's way it's better. It's just lunatics. All right. Um, And so Mercury would be Mercurians, okay? This is what's called the genitive form of the word. Uh, Mercurial would be the adjective. Uh, So if you're Venus, Venusian. Okay. All right. That's pretty well known there. Right. And any, before we knew that Venus was 900 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, Venus being named after Venus, the god of love and beauty, any portrayal of Venus with aliens there, they were all beautiful women. Always, okay. at all times. At, this is, all right. That, that, that makes perfect sense. That uh, <laughs> yeah, Beautiful women that will uh, burn you to a crisp. <laughs> <laughs> they, Venus. Venus. <laughs> no, before we knew it would burn you to a crisp. Oh, okay. All right. So, so let's keep going here. Mars. And, of course, that's the famous Martian. We got that. All right. And beyond that, you have Jupiter. Oh. And so Jupiter would be... Uh, you can think Jupiterians. I was going to say Jupiterians. You can simplify that and call them Jovians. Jovians. Yeah. By Jove, yes. By Jove is by Jupiter. Yeah. Okay. You know, okay. Jupiterians. I did not know this one. Didn't know that one. Okay, did and Saturn. Did not know that. It'd be Saturnians. Saturnians. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what else? Uh, Saturn. Neptune. Uh, uh, Uranus first. Okay. Uh, so now, all right, What do you, are you Uranians? No, you're I, an a-hole. No, stop. Uranus. Oh. Uranus, you're an a-hole. The a-hole. a-hole. Oh, the a-hole the planet. A-hole oh. Here, guys. Oh. Part, party's over. <laughs> stop. A-holes. <laughs> That's a sci-fi movie I want to see. If all, <laughs> if all the residents of Uranus, Uranus were a holes. Okay. So, <laughs> so I, I I have to check on that one. Uh, Uran Uranians. I have to think of Uranians. Yeah. Uranians. Okay. Uranus. Uranians. Okay. Yeah, Uranians. And, and Neptunes would be Neptunians. Neptunians. That sounds great. Yeah. And uh, 
Pluto. I say I totally say Plutonians. Plutonians. Yeah. I mean, why uh, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I, um, there's an episode of Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty where they go to Pluto, and by the way, uh, they uh, bring Jerry, who's a character who is a bumbling idiot in the in the series. They bring him to Pluto to. Um, wait, wait. Pre- uh, Jer- Jerry is Morty's father. Right. Jerry yes, is Morty's okay. father. And so they bring him to Pluto to praise him for making Pluto a planet. Oh, I saw that episode. Yeah. I saw that. <laughs> that that was weird. That yeah, one was they weird. They celebrate him for making Pluto a planet. Yeah, you know? But yeah. anyway. Uh, so. And but, they're called but, Plutonians. But, but so here's the, here's, uh, we got to correct one of these though. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you were from Venus, you're not really Venusian. Okay. We we had to clean that one up. Okay. The correct genitive term to be of Venus is to be venereal. Okay. That is nasty. <laughs> That's all okay. I'm saying. I'm just saying. Okay. Well, well, so, but the, me- the, the medical doctors got to the word before the astrophysicists did. Okay. And so they find this disease peculiar to lovemaking and they name and they like naming stuff into the mythological dungeons. Mm-hmm. And so they dig up whatever it would be. They find the, you know, the planet, the goddess that is responsible for lovemaking right. and love beauty and all that goes with it. And they say, let us call these diseases of Venus. Wow. Venereal diseases. And I'm sure she was just like. Thanks a lot. I know. Now, Russia had more landers on Venus than we ever had. We focused on Mars, Russia landed. All, all their landers are called Veneras. The, 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 again, the roots of Venereal. Venera. Right. Just look up Venera. Those make, are yeah. landers on Venus sent by Russia. Back even during the Cold War. They were explorers too. Okay. Yeah, so the problem is if if, pe- if people from Venus come and say, hi, I'm Venereal, how are you? That's awkward. Say, right, hi, I'm Venereal, how are you? I'm clean. That's how I am. I'm clean, it was nice to meet you, wouldn't want to be you, see ya. <laughs> so... Uh, as far as other aliens, I mean, they might, I, I would like to, in keeping with the woke movement, I would want to call them what they want to be called themselves. Okay. Rather I mean, than I'm, come up I'm, with some name for them. I'm all about that, period. Right, right. Yeah. It's like Columbus coming to the New World. I'm looking for India. You must be Indians, yeah. right? It, this is just, and we kept calling them Indians for like I, s- four centuries. Yeah, I was going right? to say, that's where the real problem was. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's one thing for one guy to be like, hey, these guys are Indians. Yeah, because uh, to, to adopt it as right. formal cultural uh, right. uh, that, uh, MO. Right, right, right. Now, if I say, what shall we call you? And they say, oh, you will call us master. It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that ain't happening. Yeah. All right. Um, there, there, I do me, have a line about what I'm going to call you. And, uh, let me tell you something. If that were the case, we like just damn uh, brother can't catch a break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Call me Massa Boss. Right. Uh, right. All right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Man, just got through the just got through the South. Yeah, didn't we? Uh, and the America and fought a war. This again. <laughs> 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 but um uh, so it's the way we're naming exoplanets unless there's one we have good data on and people like uh being a little more creative the way it works is there's the name of the star mm-hmm. and the star has the letter a associated with it as the f- first object discovered in the in, system in that system okay. okay the next object typically a planet would be a b trappist b Okay, there you go. And so that would have been the first planets discovered in that Trappist system. That uh, tra- Trappist is a uh, is a it's a very fertile star system. It has multiple planets that took a while to extract out of the data, but they're there. So there's A, B, C, D, E, F. So uh, that's just what we call them in our catalogs. But that's not a fun thing. If we find aliens there, you're not going to call it Trappist B. Beyonds, you know, right? Uh, so we'll have to do some more thinking about that. I but. like that. That's that's a fun game to give planets names and so and systems where we know that 
there are planets that exist. Then you have a chance of calling them, calling the aliens of that planet something right. that would. But I got one more before we go. Okay. Okay. So we're looking for life on Jupiter's moon Europa. Okay. So I'm thinking if we find life there, we would have to call them Europeans. Oh, I thought you were going to say white people. No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck is still oh. not making progress in his race therapy oh, sessions. I know. I need help. I need help. <laughs> it's, um, right. you know, so Europa, it'd be European. Europeans. I don't, see, I don't see why not. Not Europeans. Right. No, Europeans. Europeans. That's yeah, kind of cool. There it is. And uh, Saturn's largest moon, Titan. Uh, though we call them Titans. Yo, that's. That's bad. That's uh, the badass, badass ones. That's where I want to be from. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. So anyhow, it's fun to think about what you would call the aliens once we have a name for the for the object. Right. And the, just the one I wanted to correct for the record was Venusians is what we all accept, but it's not authentic. It's, it's venereal. You, you're authentically venereal if you're yeah. from Venus. And that is today's explainer. Sorry, Venus. <laughs> we got the test back. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right there's been another star talk explainer on something you probably didn't know you could care about chuck always good to have you always a pleasure neil degrasse tyson as always keep looking up <laughs>